What's up, my friends? Okay, before I start doing all this, can you guys hear me? Are we all good? I think we're all good, but I'm going to make sure we're all good before I sing half a song and none of you were able to even hear me. So give me some thumbs up or something if you can hear me. All right. You guys can hear me. Cool. Well, what's up? Welcome to my second live stream. Um, I wish I could be doing this in a more presentable spot than this. I'm sorry, but just in my living room, it's 3 p.m. I'm uh, playing on a one-ton grand piano. Can't really, can't really roll that thing around. So here we are. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna like, I'm gonna play I think five songs, and between every song, I'm gonna try to do like a little question and answer thing to just kind of split it up a little bit, um, just so I don't play all five really quick. Um, and so if you guys have any questions, just ask them between the songs, I'll answer them. Um, but this first one, this first one has been requested for quite some time, but I learned it and I'm ready to go. This is Superstars. Just a summer night, the baby drinks are flowing. It's on a lovely light, a lovely in the morning. You got a kid of vibe, and I think you know it. Don't have a nine to five, let's keep this moment going. Cause I've learned to enjoy the little things And right now I think you be covering me Stick on the night just to put the lights I'm going up here, no one's in a rush Can't wear me out cause you're perfect And you make me feel like it's worth it Forever tonight, what's the difference? As long as we feel like we're living Something about you makes me feel alive the only one who makes the dark turn to light And I can't go back to what we had Forever tonight, what's the difference? As long as we feel like we're living My hands up, rock me on this one Something about you Something about you Oh, 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 oh. Something about you Something about you, oh, 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 oh. We're standing real close, I'm needing you the most It's like you read my mind, and you know that I Love those pants that you cuff like you do With those white no-shows and a tear shoe Cause I've learned to enjoy the little things So right now I think you be governing me Let's take on the night just to both of us I'm growing up, you know, one's in a rush I care where we are cause you're perfect But you make me feel like it's worth it Forever tonight, what's the difference? As long as we feel like we're living Something about you makes me feel alive it's supposed to be worn on a guitar. Something about you makes me feel alive. The only one who makes the dark turn to light I can't go back to what we have Forever tonight, what's the difference? As long as we feel like we're right now Here's song number one. That was Superstars, if you guys didn't know what that song was. But yeah, I don't know why. I just like, for some reason, thought I couldn't play it on piano and I never really learned the chords. I, I had the chords because I wrote the song. But then I just forgot about the chords for a while. And then I was playing around with it a couple days ago and I was like, all right, here we go. Um, all right, cool. I'm going to go through a couple of these comments.
By the way, if you missed the beginning, um, we're doing a song and then we're going to do some questions and then we're going to do another song and then we're going to do some more questions. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them away. <clears throat> What's been my favorite city to perform in? Um, it's kind of been different every tour. Um, my first headlining tour, Boston just absolutely blew the house down. It was crazy. Um, sold out and everybody was just like on the same wavelength and um, was just really into it. And then this last tour before the second half got half got canceled, um, Salt Lake City just blew my mind. I've never seen more energy in my life. And, um, you know, everybody was just like in a swarm out in the crowd and everybody was just super into it. So, yeah. Um, Favorite song I've written, um, they all have like different energies and different vibes to them. So they all have like, you know, a different special place in my heart. But um, writing Heavy Snow was a huge deal for me. Um, I was just in a really, really bad spot and writing this song. I wrote it on this piano. Um, I came home after the Chelsea Cutler tour and I was just feeling super weird for a few weeks and um, just started writing Heavy Snow. And every feeling that I had inside of me went out into the song and it really, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. And it really um really just helped me pull through that period. Well, I restocked some of the older merch. Um we restocked, I think, down to the uh the tie-dye guys um from the Bright Side tour, and then a couple more little ones, but they're up on my website right now, Christian-French.com. And um yeah, we restocked those, but the old old merch, those I think those are just uh, those are just the one of ones. What comes first, melody or lyrics? Um, a lot of the times, it's honestly the melody. Like for "Heavy Snow," I was just sitting here. That's all I had for a while, and I was kind of like. Da -da -da. And yeah, it kind of grew from there, but it kind of switches every song. Um, not every song is the same. Have I watched Tiger King? Yes, I've watched four episodes. I feel like I got to space it out just because I feel like it's just wasting my time. But um, Carol Baskin's not it. It's just it. It's just not it. Um, all right, I'm going to play my next song. This next one. It's the classic. It's the hit of the century. It's not it's not a hit of the century, but um, super fun to play. This one's head first. Catching my attention like an apple at a thigh. I tried to comprehend it and do it from the start. Work a little differently than anyone I've ever known. Little moments got me chasing you for miles. I open up the window to see if you're around. I'm wishing I could show you all the seasons that I found. Oh, yeah, you got a hold of me. I'm diving in and there's nothing I can do so recklessly. You hit me like a child of little falling. You got me hypnotized Mesmerized Wrapped around your finger Till the lights go You got a hold of me A hold of me Feeding off adrenaline Just beating through my heart You walk the lane Closer, I feed the coming on. I'm crazy for your energy that echoes anywhere. Riding these highs, sunk in these lows. Still on my mind, it's out of control. I can't let you go. I got my cards full, waiting for you, babe. Yeah, you got a hold of me. Child, baby, 
the popping dog, you got me hypnotized. Mesmerized, wrapped around your bank until the lights go low. You got a hold of me. Thanks. Tea time. My mom loves this music. We just love when moms love the music. That's just that's the best. <clears throat> Can I sing Bright Side of the Moon, please? You're going to have to keep your eyes peeled for that one. Just keep listening and you'll uh, you'll hear Again, if you came late, we're doing questions in between songs, and we're in between songs right now. And so, um, yeah, ask your questions. Ask them away. Do you ever finish a song, put it out, and then wish you could go back and change something about it? Um, that's really funny that you asked that because last night I went through and I was listening to my like my whole Spotify discography, just kind of like seeing – I don't know, the progression. And it's really weird how a song I was put out, I was like, oh, this is this is perfect. This is it. And now I'm like, well, I could have changed that and that, but like that's all part of the process. Um, I don't ever have any intention of changing it. It's it, I've just let it go out into the world. I'm letting it do it, it do its thing. And um, yeah. Where is this new song you talked about on Twitter? It's coming. There's a whole half to this live stream you guys don't even know about yet. My mom's always had John Mayer playing, and so he was definitely, still is my biggest influence. Um, every single one of his albums is just, you know, really crazy to me, and I'm amazed with how grounded he stayed as an artist um, this long into his career, and I just really um, am inspired by his work. Um, Second one, Frank Ocean has been really up there for me. I think his music is just really timeless, and um, the taste is just so tasty. I just can't believe it. Um, and then three, Tame Impala. Um, this is a more recent one, but um, he does all himself, and um, that's really inspiring to me, and I just think it's really impressive. So um, go Kevin Parker. What's my favorite episode of SpongeBob? All right. So only on video, I think, will you guys be able to get this one. So it's the episode where SpongeBob and Plankton, they're at the beach. Plankton is trying to teach SpongeBob how to be like a mean guy. And SpongeBob just doesn't get it. And he's like, Plankton's like, now tell that guy to go take a hike. And he's like, hey, you want to take a hike with me? And um, I don't know. That, that, that part, that whole scene just really kills me. Um, Every time. I don't know why, but yep, I'm uh, I'm like 15, 16 years strong on the SpongeBob wave. Orange juice or apple juice? If we're talking just like from the store, apple juice all day, but if we're talking fresh, fresh squeezed, orange juice. Is that a real tattoo? Sure is. Right side of the moon. All right, it's time to play another song. I forgot we were doing songs. My bad. Okay, so this one, it's going to be a little twist in the middle. You're going to have to catch it. Um, but try to guess what this song is before I start. Somebody guesses it. There it is. Cold Pizza's got it. Side thighs, 
problem is inside things. No time to look for guidance. You invited everybody in. I've been so over and to try and don't wanna be a parties. I just wanna be nobody with my thoughts in my room. But it's the real still it. Feels like I'm standing in a crowded room, fighting to find a little space to move. Try to remind myself it's not enough. It's like in a breath is getting hot to do. I'm here again. I'm out on the edge. I can't take the step to get out of my head. I'm here to the air. Maybe I should try to make friends with this crowd. But I can't afford to waste of my time, so I'll just ignore the mind of what found a way to fall. Maybe I will never know, but it's not so bad. Just look on the bright side, it's the right time to come through. I'm ready to fall. In love with the twilight Spend a light down trying to prove it I'm just doing my best Going under but I'm holding my bed in But I'm, I'm looking up Up at the bright side At the bright side of the Feels like I'm standing there and traveling wrong Dividing to find a little space to Try to remind myself it's nothing new. But say again, breath is getting hard to do. Didn't expect it, did you? What a hell of a twist. Turns out they're the same chords. Favorite Eden song? XO. All day long. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading some comments. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to find questions. I'm not just being silent. I had a question and then it just went away and now I can't find it. And is cereal soup? I don't know about that. It's just milk, milk and uh, cereal, I guess. Soup's got some more stuff going on. Favorite book? I've got three. A lot of you guys have probably heard this a billion times. The Alchemist, Mastery of Love, and The Four Agreements. Um, those three were the start of like kind of a spiritual and self-love self-help journey for myself that have just helped me tremendously the past couple of years of my life. And, um, I'm just really thankful to have found those books. If tomatoes are fruit, does that mean ketchup is a jelly? I heard it ketchup was a smoothie, not jelly, but I guess they both were. What's the meaning of my tattoo? So it's the moon from Bright Side of the Moon. And Bright Side of the Moon, my EP, was um, it's based around, you know, just focusing on the bright side of things and not letting yourself just kind of fall into a hole of negativity. And so this is just that constant reminder to, um, you know, stay optimistic even in the shittiest times of life. And so, um, yeah, it's always going to be there.
Do I want to collab with anyone once this mess is over? Yes. Um, I've been trying to collab with Ash for a while. We've written a couple songs, but they've been like half songs, and then we never finish them. But we've been really trying to finish one together. Um, so Ash for sure. Um, I've really been wanting to write one with um, Core 92. Um, but then, you know, out of that little group of people that I'm friends with, um, I've really been wanting to work with Phineas lately, um, which is Billie Eilish's brother who produces all of her stuff. And he has his own artist project, which is also crazy. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. He's just got a really good taste. I feel like he's around my age and I feel like we would just be just good pals. Um, and I think we can make some crazy music together. Um, how do I come up with concepts for my album covers? So I kind of tag team my concepts with um, one of my best friends and my, um, it's kind of my, my visionary on my project, Cam Nisbet. Um, he's my photographer. He makes my animations. He makes my album arts. Um, he designs merch. And so he's just like super there with the style for me. And so we kind of sit together and kind of mood board out what we want, um, what we want the kind of look to be, the colors. And then um, we take, take some pictures or do whatever we need to do. And then it's kind of let Cam do his thing and we just critique it from there. And he's just so good at what he does. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful to have him on my team. All right. We're going to keep going, I think. <clears throat> so something I've never done before on live. This is a first. You guys are seeing this for the first time. Instead of just the piano section of things, we now have Guitar World over here. And I will be playing a few songs on the guitar. So from 1980, and I found it in my attic. And I plugged it in and it works just like a charm. And so this old gorilla is really going to be doing it for us today. Um, but yeah, I've never played guitar live before. And so I hope this works out. Um, so I got, I asked yesterday, I asked, um, well, let me move this closer. Yesterday I asked you guys uh, what songs you wanted to hear me sing on my live. God, sorry. Okay, yesterday I asked what songs you guys wanted to hear on my live, and uh, I got a really crazy number of people that wanted me to do a Jeremy Zucker cover. And it just so happens that I've been working on it. And so um, I thought, what better day to pull it out than that? Um, so yeah. Is your birthday? I thought it was a Thursday, girl. We you know you love a Friday. We're celebrating. I'll be on my way to distant shores. If you aren't so insecure, learn to close each open door. Hang up if you ever think you call. Me up, not afraid to say it, darling. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry if it hurts. I don't mean to make it worse. Decided that I'm not your fucking friend. Right now, there's not much that we agree on. So sit down if you need someone to lean on. Honest, if I'm coming to your face, just to say it to your face. I've decided that I'm not your fucking friend. I think you might be okay. Be careless what your friends say, girl. I'd rather sit inside nights than be here while you're crying. Darling, watch me disappear. Ignorance is bliss, I hear. And I have always been sincere to you. Oh, baby. Hang up if you ever think you call and me up. Not afraid to say it, darling. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry if it hurts. 
worse. I don't mean to make it worse. Decided that I'm not your fucking friend. By now, there's not much that we agree on. So sit down if you need someone to lean on. No, I ain't honest. If I'm coming to your place, to so say it to your face. Decided that I'm not your fucking friend. That's all I got for that. So yeah, that's uh, that's been one of my favorites of his lately. Sorry, let me get my water. And yeah. Nailed the guitar noises. Thanks. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna do some questions in between before my last song, before the new song. It's been so beautiful every single day for the past like couple days. And so I've been like going out and like hanging out outside and like going on a bike ride here and there. And turns out it's allergy season and it is ruining my life. But that's all right because it's beautiful. <clears throat> is the Home Depot theme song the new post show anthem? Yes. Um, for those of you that don't know the story behind that, um, after every single show, our last tour, um, on our bus ride home, we just blast the Home Depot theme song and that was our like rally. We just had a good show song. And so, yeah, um, I don't know. Don't ask. How was moving to LA? Um, it was culture shock. Absolutely. Um, I've lived in Indiana. I'm in Indiana right now. I've lived in Indiana my whole entire life um, until two years ago when I moved there. Um, but yeah, it was. It's just like a completely different shift of lifestyle for me. And like, LA is the most popping city, and it's awesome because like you know whatever I don't know whatever type of food you're wanting to get, whatever electronic anything, it's all there, and it's just like so accessible there. And the energy there is really crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I really loved it. It wasn't like a tough, obviously I like miss my family and stuff, but it was a really smooth transition into living in LA. Do I have plans to finish the tour and stuff after all of this? Yes. There's a couple shows that didn't, didn't get the love that they deserve. Pretty bummed about it. And so um, we're rescheduling those shows to a later date so that we can do it. Do you miss Indiana? Um, yes, I miss Indiana a whole bunch after I moved away. I didn't really realize I was going to miss it until after I moved. And then I was like, oh, Indiana is kind of the shit. Um, but I've been here for a month now after tour, and I've just been absorbing it all in. Ever been surfing in L.A.? Surfing twice, got up twice. What's up? Um, that's it. Not very good, but it's fun. Super fun. For the, um, for Middle East and for, for coming to Middle East, Philippines and Europe and all that. Um, honestly, all this is, is really new for me. It's amazing having fans all across the world and, um, I'm definitely, as soon as I possibly can, as soon as all this stuff's over, um, I'm going to try to make my, make my way around the world as quick as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I've never been anywhere except for the United States and Canada, which is just crazy. Um, cause there's just a whole bunch of world to explore and I'm really excited to do that. <clears throat> okay. You guys ready for the last song, the new song? Um, this song is called long way to go. And I don't know, I kind of, I started writing it just on kind of the feelings that I get every time I'm back in Indiana. I feel really nostalgic of just, you know, I don't know how my life used to be just like 
I don't know, growing up here and everything and just having my family here feels really nostalgic to me. And um, growing up, you just get to come here less and less. And it's kind of like a sad thing to think about just all of this, you know, past life stuff. Um, but, you know, like, I don't know, there's just there's 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 so much good to come and there's no use to just focus on, you know, all the stuff you're leaving behind because there's so much in this long way to go that you're going to discover that's going to be, you know, even better than you thought it would ever be. Um, so that's kind of what this song is about. She was meant to be, but every river flows to open water eventually. I couldn't make believe Cause with the ease I'm growing further towards a better me But sometimes life moves fast And I'm too slow Hoping that my life won't pass Before I know But I'm too young I'm less than halfway down the road I'm growing up But there's still a long way to go there's still a long way to go. Oh, 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 oh. There's still a long way to go. Oh, 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 oh. There's still a long way to go. Wish I could take it back. But it was easy, but I know things go. They never last. So as I'm rolling through these faces on my own, I'm learning patience, good as gold. There's a lot that I still want to know Cause sometimes life moves fast And I'm too slow Hoping that my life won't pass Before I know Cause I'm still young I'm less than halfway down the road I'm growing now But there's still a long way to go There's still a long way to go oh, 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 oh. There's still a long way to go. Oh, 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 oh. There's still a long way to go. I'm a broke down car with some broke down parts, but I'll still give it a go. Cause if I came this far, what's up? I forgot the words of man I got. Holy cow, I wrote this bridge last night and I completely forget. I'm a broke down car with some broke down parts, but I'm still ready to go. Cause if I came this far, might as well try hard and keep on pushing the floor. But when I'm down and under clouds, it feels so hopeless. At least I've come to know that there's still a long way to go. Oh, oh, oh. There's still a long way to go. Oh, 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 oh. There's still a long way to go. That's my new song. Um, yeah, if you can't tell, I wrote the bridge late last night, and so um, those lyrics aren't as aren't as fresh to me. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to my keyboard spot, my my key spot. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's my Christian French quarantine live concert. What's up? Um, but I'm here to hang out and still chill with you guys for a little bit. <laughs> if you guys got any questions or just whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm here to talk about it. Sorry, I'm reading. Shortest time to write a song. Um, man, I think, so the beginning of uh, Head First was like the quickest turnaround I think I've ever had. Um, so the story goes, I was, I was working with my friend Andrew Luce, who produced the song, 
And we were at his place. We had tried so many ideas that day. We were just like, just couldn't connect on anything. And I was going to the kitchen to get a tea. And while I was making my tea, um, he was in his room and he started playing the chords to what is now in the song. I was like, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and by the time I came back in the room, he had like recorded it. And I wrote pretty much all that song. Like we had most of it done in two or three hours. And, um, then after that, it was kind of just like the polishing stuff for the next few weeks. But, um, yeah, that was a really quick turnaround. When am I releasing my next song or album? So, sorry, I'm going to turn my phone off. Um, I just so happen to have a song coming out next Friday, April 17th. Um, it's called I Think Too Much. And, um, you know, it's just based around, obviously, the idea of me thinking too much. Um, I consider myself a really introspective person. Um, I find myself just over analyzing a lot of situations and, um, yeah, this is kind of me just putting it on paper. When will we see a full length album? Um, I've been saving it for the right time just because today's age is really, um, you know, a lot of people don't have the patience to sit through a whole album um, of like 12 songs or something. And I just want to make sure that when I put my album out, it doesn't get passed up. And, um, you know, it's coming. It's coming very, not very soon, but it's coming. Um, I'm writing for it right now. And um, yeah, it's just going to be perfect when it comes out. So yeah. Do you ever regret dropping out of college? Um, no. I do not, not at all. Um, I still love science, no hard feeling science. Um, I'm still definitely a nerd and I like listening to like sciencey podcasts to kind of keep that side of my brain going. But um, for me, music is just like all I think about all day, every day. And um, I just love it so much and I just couldn't see myself doing anything else. Um, there's nothing that I can put so much heart into that is anywhere compared to this. Any advice for a beginning piano player? So piano and guitar or whatever instrument, I guess. Um, the way that I got started, I, there's plenty of ways to get started. But the way that worked for me was I went on YouTube and I found my favorite um, my favorite songs. Like, I don't know, for example, how, like Never Say Never by The Fray. I don't know. But I looked it up and uh, I just started learning cover after cover after cover on YouTube and – um, I wasn't super great at it at first, obviously, but after you cover a bunch of songs and like learn the chords, you start to figure out, you know, the patterns and, um, like it really helps me navigate the piano. I've never had proper lessons. I learned from YouTube, YouTube university. Um, yeah. What do I do in quarantine? Um, man, so my daily schedule has been I wake up, I shower, and then I come down. I have a tea or a cold brew, whatever I'm feeling that day. And then I read. I read for, I'd say, like an hour. Um, it just gets my day started in the best way possible. Um, and then I'll come over here. I'll mess around on the keys for a little bit. Maybe, maybe play a little guitar. Um, and then work out for sure. Definitely should be working out while this quarantine is going on because it's going to make your body feel better. It's going to make your mind feel better. And why not? You got the time. Um, I've been making a lot of food as well. Try to be eat, try to be eating really healthy. Um, just keep my body on top of top of it these days. And then, um, been hanging out with my parents. I don't get to hang out with them a whole bunch, but then, um, at night I'm literally just locked into my little quarantine studio I got working right now. Um, and I've been getting to spend a lot of time doing that, which has just been awesome. My last part-time job, my last job before I moved out to Los Angeles was, um, 
I got pool samples. I was like the person that picked up pool samples. So I would drive around in my car all day. I would go to different apartment complexes or like neighborhood pools or whatever. And I'd literally just go walk on in, go fill up a bottle with pool water and I'd bring it back. And then um, at the end of the day, when I got all my pool samples, I would go to the laboratory and I would set up all the pool samples uh, for bacteria tests to make sure that the pool is clean or not. And then I would set up the test and I'd put them in the incubator, or whatever they needed. And then uh, I'd read the tests like 24 or 48 hours later to find out if people had E. coli or other shitty bacteria in their pool. And that's what I did for four summers. Favorite recent reads? Right now, I'm reading a book called The Voice of Knowledge by Don Miguel Ruiz, who wrote uh, The Four Agreements and The Mastery of Love. And I just I just really love his books. I just love what he has to say. And um, I lost my train of thought a little bit. But um, it just talks about how, I don't know, we, we tend to just think everything super hard and the truth is always going to be the truth. And once we start to like try to interpret the truth with our words is when it becomes not the truth. I'm doing a horrible job of explaining this. Um, I just started it, but um, yeah, it's really interesting. Am I able to play any hockey? I've been playing when I am in LA, when I'm not like touring or anything um, I've been playing every Sunday uh, out with men's league with the boys just back at it. And so, um, I just started doing that again and it was, it's been super fun. Am I planning a tour to Europe? Um, everything's kind of up in the air right now, but absolutely I will be there as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I was really, we were like supposed to be planning that stuff around this time, but, um, but like I said, things are up in the air. So one of these days. Can we meet my dog? Come here. We got people that want to see you. Here's Mia. She's a good stretcher. She likes to stretch a lot. Hi. She's in my parents' room. That's Mia. That's my dog. What's up? Um, all right. A lot of you guys are still on. Is is there one song? I'm going to play one more song. How about that? <clears throat> so this song, uh, I played it on my last live stream, but um, it's going to be coming out on my next EP. And... Um, it's already on YouTube for, I did a, uh, a thing called bedroom pop where I just did like an acoustic version of a song and I chose to do this song. It's called paper thin. Um, and so yeah, it's paper thin. The father, not the end. So I don't think that we'll fly And here we go again Another perilous night Do we swim or do we sink? Giving words to what we think Yeah, the odds are paper thin But we will not shall we try I don't want to end up thinking that we messed up overnight With all the time we're losing, we could eat the bruises and rewind Forget who fucked up, forget who's done what Cause we had love once and that was enough The odds are paper thin, we will not show we try we will know till we try. If 
even know till we try. Most of us hiding under our skin. And though it hurts so much, you're the one I wanna hurt with. We could swim, we could sink, give it nothing, everything. The odds are played with us, but we even know to we try, try, try. Don't want to end up thinking that we messed up the night. Off the top of losing, we could heal the bruises and rewind. Forget who fucked up, forget who's done what. Cause we had it up once and I wasn't known. The odds are played for them, we won't know till we try. We will not 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 till we try. That's officially the last song. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it's been great to hang out with you guys today. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you could uh, come see my little concert. Come see my first time over at uh, there it is, Guitar World. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging. I'll see you next time. Peace.